YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, Buddha, back in the building for some more Last Claudia news and information. Finally, we've been waiting a while, three weeks of this near Automata collab. I think I like the two-week range rather than the three. The three-week just kind of feels like it drags on a little bit too long. But you guys can let me know how you feel about that. I am excited and looking forward to the latest that we got from Last Claudia this morning. We can see some ironclad, well that's not the right word, armor-clad looking human uh, in what seems to be either an ice or a diamond set of armor. And I'm just going to call it right here. I am 90% sure we have a shift Gorm incoming. Uh, the diamond armor just makes sense to be his upgraded form, essentially from the gold armor in which we're used to seeing him rock. And we've even got the little diamond emoji. Let me uh, click the screen so you can see what I'm circling Diamond emoji and crown emoji right there. We know there there aren't many royalty figures in Last Claudia. We do, we have Roland, Roland, who is part of the main story, but then we have Gorm here, who, uh, if we're looking at this picture, uh, even the hair itself, it's slightly brown. I think people can get confused with it being brown or blondish, but. I'm thinking this is Gorm's hair right here. Uh, just the cut seems similar. The smile, the happy-go-lucky face. Gorm, even in his picture, seems like kind of just a happy-go-lucky kind of guy. And that's what I'm getting from this picture. And something else that's interesting is that if we actually look in-game... We can see that Gorm is rocking this red cape right here, which, if I'm not mistaken, looks eerily similar to the red fabric that looks like is going on behind this new teaser for the character right there. So, like I said, I'm 90 to about 99% sure that we've got Shift Gorm incoming, and I'm excited. Gorm was one of my first characters that I pulled when I started playing. Uh, his design stuck out to me because he's got that crazy armor going on, and he's this royalty prince looking guy. There have been a couple comments I've seen from the community that aren't too keen on what this kind of character might bring if it is the shift version of Gorm, because as we know in game, Gorm is pretty much a tank and semi bruiser now with his new five star buffs. And just tanks, the tank role doesn't go over so well in Last Claudia. Now, I will say Ruto, who is our best tank at the moment, did surprise me in his usefulness to keep my team alive in those final floors of tower. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, that was an interesting journey. Uh, so, but for the most part, tanks just don't help you achieve kind of the appeal of these new units and what people want, which is Big damage, fast damage, and flashy jump out at your skills. Now, he may come with some really cool new support mechanics, which is my hope for him. Uh, at the moment, I don't see myself dropping any crystals for him uh, because, and what is almost the most exciting prospect of this being a shift Gorm, he is and would be a permanent unit. We know like with Shift Medine, Shift Goroth, those are permanent units that you can pull in the general pool at any time. A lot of people have their sentiments towards that, but I think for the health of the game and the uh, impression that it gives the players, having a nice balance of the permanent units to limited units will always go over well. So this will be a very nice break from the onslaught of limited units and banners that we've gotten in the past what four months so i'm very excited to see what this character brings we are getting the video and stuff tomorrow going over his kit and whoever this character this mystery character is going to be so look out for that because you know your boy buddha will be reviewing that before i go let me just talk about your boy buddha give you a little update because it has been very slow in regards to video posting for your boy. I think I mentioned in a couple live streams last week that I am uh, officially going to be moving. My lady Buddha and I are going to be picking up and moving across the state we are currently in. So 
planning that and getting ready for it because we will be moving in the first week of October, which is right around the corner, just a couple weeks away. Uh, just getting ready to uproot and that process, pre-planning, getting everything ready, especially since I am the one at home. I take on a lot of responsibility for getting things ready to go uh, while she goes and earns the bread for the household at the moment. So I just want to keep on bringing that up probably in some videos Posting is going to be sporadic. It's probably not going to be daily content for a while. I may go one, two, maybe even three days in between without posting, but I'm going to try and manage scheduling some posts ahead of time as best as I can so that you guys don't think that your boy Buddha just went and left the building and quit YouTube because this is still what I am trying to do. This is the dream we are trying to accomplish and we are here. I wanted to make sure to highlight the little bit of new news that we are getting. Last Cloudy has also been kind of dry lately, so there's not a lot of content. I'd, there's not a lot of content that has been easy for me to jump on. Uh, would have required me to kind of sit down, come up with scripts, uh, flesh out some ideas, which I just haven't had the focus or time to do recently. So there's the Buddha update for the day. I'm going to try and get this up ASAP. So we can not only get the word out that this new character is coming, our first look at the newest character coming to Last Claudia, uh, but it's probably going to be a nice reprieve for a lot of people and their gems, right? Permanent banners are easy skips, but they also add more content, more things that you can potentially pull in the future no matter when you decide to pull. So. I'm all for it. Hope you guys are excited. We are moving out of the Near Automata collab era, so we'll be looking forward to see what updates uh, and new features, hopefully, Idis has planned in the near future. Again, we will see. I'm waiting for some Barleen's beans after the last Q&A because the Q&A was just kind of standard. It was a lot of us giving them feedback, them not giving us real answers, just a lot of acknowledgements. I didn't really find anything interesting to make a video on about it, uh, other than stuff we've kind of heard in the past, little sweet promises. We just don't know when or have any inkling of, uh, of the timeline that Idis has for those things. I'm starting to ramble now because I'm back in front of the camera and I'm not used to it, but here we are, like I said, gonna end the video. If you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when I post exactly when you're not left out of the loop in case of emergency. And y'all know what we say. Work hard, play harder. See you in the next video.